Just driving with the miles. I'm a state certified instructor. I teach teens and adults. We're gonna talk about making left-hand turns. I'm hands-free, I have the GoPro, so we're safe. So I'm up to the edge, waiting. I'm looking left, I'm looking right. It's all timing. A lot of beginning drivers lack timing when they come up. So I'm showing you what you should do. You're just patient. And I think a lot of beginning drivers also lack patience. So you're looking for a gap. A gap is the space. So I'm just gonna take my time. You can see the space is getting bigger and I'm just waiting. I see the car down there, so you have to time it. So I'm gonna be extra safe. I'm gonna wait for this car to go by, but eventually if you wait forever, you'll never be able to go out. So that's where that patience comes in. So after this car goes by, I'm looking clear. Then I make my turn and I accelerate into the nearest lane. And then I accelerate into the turn now I need to make a left hand turn so I'm looking for the line to be broken and this line is broken right here and then I go up I want to stop behind the stop line on your DMV test or road test if you pass the stop line you will be uh, get points deducted I also had a comment on making left hand turns it varies from country to country state to state you need to turn into the nearest lane example I'm making a left hand turn I want to turn by the double yellow if I turn wide and go into the right lane I'm gonna cut off cars making right turns so I'm focusing I have a protected left turn I go up to the middle and I wait I'm waiting for a gap or the light to change so I'm looking at traffic right now, taking my time and just being patient, sitting and waiting for a gap. And I'm going to go ahead and accelerate through my turn. And I turn in an arrow thing right by the double yellow. But what if I had to go to the gas station? You want to get into the nearest lane and then make your maneuvers. So uh, the speed limit here is 50 miles an hour. I'm at about 44, 45 miles an hour. You don't always have to be up right at the speed limit. Two or three under the limit is fine. Cruise, save gas. You don't need to hammer your vehicle. So that was a quick tutorial on making left turns. If you like this type of content where I'm discussing the hand placement on the steering wheel, the gauges in the car and what they mean, it all ties back to driving. And if you were following this content, tell me what the battery voltage was when I was very concerned. Thank you. Please give this a thumbs up. And if you really love it, subscribe to the content. Thank you.